All right, I wanted to make a quick review on this 1.5 ton mini split. I added this to a one car garage that currently serves as our home gym. Uh, we live in Phoenix, Arizona area where it gets to 110, 115 some days and it's just pretty much intolerable to be able to work out on those days uh, if you don't have something to cool the gym down. For a while we had that large um, swamp cooler over there and it did a decent job of moving the air around and getting it down to 90 or 100 degrees but it was still extremely hot so we picked up one of these. Installing it was way easier than I was expecting. It's literally just drilling a hole through the wall, feeding the wires back there, mounting the mounting plate on the wall, and then I'll go show you real quick the unit outside to show you just how large that is. If we go over here. You can see the unit right here just sticks against the wall, has the fan and the condenser and everything out here. Um, and then the cables just go up the wall and into the wall where that unit is. So I'll take you back inside now. Um, one of the things that I like about this most is first of all, it connects to my phone. I think almost all of the units that are on the market right now have some sort of Bluetooth Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, this one is no different. I'm pretty sure almost all of these brands have almost all the same internals. They're just different brand names in the front because they operate almost exactly the same, the remotes look the same, etc. So you do have a remote you can put on the wall with a few different options on it, but all these options are also available within the app. So if I turn this on right now, it'll turn on and then it'll start cooling. It only takes a minute or two to start working and blowing the air around. It has a little um, blade that comes up and down to move the air around as it's coming out to redirect it. And then it says what the temperature is up there right now. It shows it's set for 68. Kind of hard to see because there's that glare right there. But the reason why I love the phone connectivity is because since we're not trying to cool this gym down all day, every day, since we're only using it once a day, um, I can wake up in the morning, um, turn it on when I know I'm going to go to the gym in about an hour or so. And then by the time I get out here, it's completely cooled down in here, down to about 68 degrees. If it's set at that, within about 45 minutes to an hour time frame, it'll cool the whole gym down, even if it's a hot day. I can work out and then shut it off from my phone when I want to and then go about my day without worrying about the extra cost of always having it on or forgetting to turn it off. So if you are needing um, a mini split, whether it's in your house or a garage gym or something like this, this far wall is not even insulated. These walls are, but this far wall is not. And it still does an amazing job keeping it cool in here, even on the hottest days that we've had out here in Arizona. So pick up one of these. They're not too difficult to install. Um, you do have to vacuum pump the lines when you put them out, or you're supposed to, because moisture can get into the lines as you're connecting it and it can um, cause some issues down the road as the performance starts um, suffering because it can't condense properly. But if you're in a really dry climate like we are here in Arizona, I took a risk because our vacuum pump did not work properly for the size fittings that we needed. We did it without the vacuum pump and I've run this for a long time now and I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, granted, Phoenix is a very dry climate. If you're in a humid climate, I probably would not recommend taking that risk. But if you're in a dry climate, like I said, this is just what I did. I did not vacuum pump the lines out. I just did a full DIY install and it's worked perfectly fine since I installed it. So pick up one of these mini splits if you're looking for something to cool down your house.